Hey, Zach here, and I want to show you around a 2.5 kilo roaster with full automation and a nice raw finish. But before we get into that, I want to let you know that we are in the testing bay. Why do I bring that up? Is because you will hear men and women hard at work building roasters just for you guys. But uh, let's get into this full batch 2.5 kilo roaster. So when I say full batch, I really do mean 2.5 kilos or five pounds of coffee every roast. So let's start with the front here. So at the top, you have the nice funnel. So this funnel is where you put in the green beans. And right below that, I wanna point out, just for the automation, there's a sensor right here. So when you have the green beans loaded and you actually wanna drop it into your roaster, it'll automatically mark the sensor here. And the sensor will go back to your automation and say, hey, we're starting the roast. And this is the hopper here. And this is a, a, a flat black hopper that is available here, but we also have a nice stainless steel one that is actually polished and it's, it's a beautiful option. Right below that, we have the front bearing. And uh, the reason I point that out is because this nice little connection here, will actually, you can connect your grease gun there and keep up with your maintenance for your front bearing grease. So, and if we move to the side here, we have the nice little trier handle as always. Beautiful little option here. And then right next to that is the uh, thermal couple. So this is actually a probe that is in there to tell you the, the heat inside the drum and it goes back to uh, your data logging package and you can output through a USB to Cropster or Artisan or any data logging program you use. And below that we have the nice viewing window. That's where you'll see the beans while they're being roasted. And right next to that, we have the nice little burner window. So you'll actually see inside your roaster and see your burners. And even though this is a fully automated machine, you still have full access to opening the drum door right here. Now let's move down into the cooling vent area. So in the cooling vent, one thing I want to point out, there's a 2.5 kilo. So the agitator is optional because it's a small batch. So what the agitator does is when your beans drop in here at the end of the roast, it kind of evenly moves them out in the cooling bin so you can actually start the cooling process. And then right in the front here, you have a nice little door that opens up and you can get your beans out and use the agitator to kind of move them out into any container you want to use. And what's great about this exact roaster that I'm showing you, I love the beautiful raw finish and they matched it with the table because the table is an option to add on and you can match it to the color of your roaster. And if you're in a tight spot with your roastery, what's great is you have full access inside there. So you can have plenty of storage inside underneath your roaster, but this is optional. So you can also have your roaster just on a tabletop and your sales team will talk to you about those options. So here we are on the side of the 2.5 kilo roaster. And you might be thinking, what is this crazy thing going off to the side here? This is actually your actuator. So underneath here is the little control arm to activate the front door for the automation. So it knows when the roast is over to open up the door. And then, you know, here at Dietrich Roasters, on all of our roasters, we really think about maintenance and cleaning because that's a huge part of roasting. So we give you full access doors on the side here and you can just easily remove this panel and then pull that out and you can clean underneath your drum and around your burners on this 2.5. So here we are on the other side, the operator side of the 2.5 kilo. And I just want to briefly go over what this screen is. So this is your command center. You can control the air, the gas, and you can roast in manual and auto. Well, what does that mean? That means that when you're in manual mode in your automation, you can actually roast and get all the gas and air how you like it and the roast perfectly and then you can save it and then you can go to the auto mode so when you're in auto you can pull up a profile that's already in here pull up that roast and start roasting perfectly and match it with precision so really the screens it's it's a great nice little add-on and i always like to say it's uh, your first employee so let's also move into this up here so this is your manometer so you can of course you can see your gas control on your screen but this is a precise readout from your roaster so as you make changes on the screen you will see it up here on your manometer 
And then on the side here, we have the nice full access door, just like the other side of the roaster. Really helps with maintenance and cleaning. And then of course, since it is a tabletop version, your motor for your air is not inside of your roaster. It's actually up here on top of your cyclone. So your cyclone's out here and your motor is actually sucking the air through your roaster. And then your uh, shaft, since it's heavier than the air, drops down to the bottom. And then you can actually open this up and you can clean inside here and get all the chaff out. Great for maintenance and cleaning. And then if we move to the side here, you'll see this is where your ducting actually connects. So this is a six inch ducting connector. So something different with this 2.5 kilo is the fact that it has full automation. So there's an extra box that comes with it. So this is built differently if you have a manual roaster or automated. So this box, is for the automation and inside here we have all your breakers and your PLC and your analogs so there's a lot that goes into actually having the automation a lot of people think maybe it's just the software and, and how we program it no there's a lot more with the motors and uh, the actuators and everything else that comes on so uh, uh, not to get too detailed but there are the everything you need in, in this box. So your PLC and breakers included. So also on the side of the box here is your e-stop and then also your end roast. So in case of emergency or an override, you have your, your e-stop and your end roast.